guys, back to you again today, back with another video, and guys, today, we are going to be doing another scratch tutorial, now, um, hopefully this is going to be a better tutorial, uh, hold on, I'm going to freaking pause the video real quick, okay, so, um, what we're going to do is, um, uh, we're going to make, just checking out if my mic's good, Today we're going to be making a Stickman animation. It's going to be quick. You, it's interactable. You can, um, yeah. You basically what this is going to be is um, uh, we're going to make an animation that if you press on the space bar, something happens. But if you let go. It gets back to normal. So it's kind of cool. Um, uh, yeah, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to costumes. We're going to delete this costume completely and press this delete button so that way it just deletes what we have saved in this costume. Then we're going to get our circle. We're going to make the color black uh, we're going to make a stick man we're going to make it a little bit bigger yeah I want this to be big okay now it's big that's what she said uh, um, we're going to put this to 10 um, we're going to Click, yeah, so right now we're just making a stick man. It's pretty normal looking. I, for what we're going to do, how I do this, so that way the arms don't connect to each other, is, um, I just, okay. We're going to get this and this. So it looks like a pretty normal stick man, right? That's not what we want. What we want is to make this stick man kill another stick man. So we're just going to do this real quick because I don't really want it this far and that's better. We want this to be holding something. And so what we're going to do is make a gun. How are we going to make a gun, you may ask? It's pretty simple, really. All we need are two rectangles and we're going to do a t some artwork here we're gonna make this nice that looks very dumb so you know what we're going to put this down we're going to put this up we're going to make this that looks Better, we might need to do that. Okay, now we're going to get this. We're going to rotate it. Just like so. And we're going to put it right here on the sick man's hand. Now he's holding a gun. Now this is not family friendly. Boo hoo! Moving on. We make our next stick man. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just copy and paste if we're lazy, which. This is Baxter 101, who's making the tutorial. So you're not going to... Oh my god, you just... You messed it up. You freaking messed it up. Great, now the gun's broken. And... Oh. Hold on, let me just... Let me try to actually match this... Perfectly this time. 
Okay, now we're going to copy and paste this stupid little stick man. And to make this not look like copy and paste, we're going to make it look like copy and paste. Okay, now we're going to move this up. And now we have this for the first costume. Next, we're going to make a second costume, which all we're going to do is copy this, paste this. And yes, I do use a Chromebook, but you know, I'm, I put, plugged in a computer mouse. So yeah. Uh, now, what we're going to do is get this and just do this. Now, we're going to put this right here, and then all we need to do is get a yellow brush, and we'll kind of make a bullet sort of thing. Then we're going to get our a dark red brush. Uh, like a blood color, and we're going to just, I, can make these almost perfectly, you know, yeah, We're going to get, um, you know, we're just going to get pretty much most of this. And we're going to just scoot it a little bit up like that. Then we're going to get this and make it look like on my leg. Um, so yeah now we have these as our costumes this is the regular one this is the new one but what we don't have is two things one coding and two sound i actually have a nerf gun it's a i actually have a lot of nerf well i have three nerf guns two pistols and a shotgun um, this is my very first Nerf gun that I got. It's a pistol. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our gun aside for now. Well, our Nerf gun. You don't have to add sound, but I just want to do it because I'm a person who makes sound. Uh, so what we're going to do for the coding is get a when flag clicked forever loop and if else so if key space is pressed or if you're a mobile user or you want to make this so that people who uses um, phones and iPads and crap they can also use this then you can make it if um, mouse down but I just really want to do it if key space because it's easier. It, so if key space is pressed, then switch costume to costume two. Also, and at right after the one flag clicked before the forever loop, we're going to put a switch costume to costume one. But yeah, so it doesn't always like if you hold on the space bar and then you click stop and then you click the green flag again, it's not on. Uh, cost of two, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. If key spe space is pressed, then switch costume to costume two, but else um, switch costume to costume one. So now we have all that, but I want to add in sound. So I am also going to put in play. If key space is pressed, then... Switch costume to costume two, and it actually the sound before it. Record a sound. 
Okay, then we are going to get our Nerf gun. We're not going. To, we're going to load it before, and then we're going to put it kind of close to our microphone, and then we're going to hear the sound. I. I want this. It kind of sounded like metal there. Yeah, this kind of is a broken Nerf gun. It's been alive for many, many years. That's better. We're going to save the sound. We're going to make this faster. We're going to make this fade. Um. So now that we have this, we're just going to delete this meow, and um, we're going to put this. So now we're going to do a play sound recording one. Until done. Now we have all of this saved up to. This is all the build up. This is all that you've been waiting for. Uh. What the animation really looks like. Three, two, one. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have. I'm gonna just get rid of this sound because, well, it's kind of annoying. But you get the point. It's. You don't really need sound, you could just dig. We're kind of just tap dancing to the beat. Dun, 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 dun. It's, it's, it's. It's, it's, it's right. Anyways, now that I'm done being a complete idiot, um, how we're we going to publish this? We're going to click the save now button. If it already doesn't say project saved, we're going to click see the project page. We're going to click instructions. Uh, for example, click space. To shoot the stick man. That screw you autocorrect. Um then we're going for the notes and credits, we're just gonna type in um if you actually publish this, then type in tutorial from Baxter 101. Tutorial from Baxter 101. And then we're just going to Name it. Uh, shoot a stick, man. And then we are going to click the share button. But since I already have this, a uh, published edition, we're just going to go to the me specifically since I already have a shared version. Uh, I have a lot of stuff. Um, for YouTube videos, like the Zombie Apps 2 thing, I did try to film it on this computer, but yeah. So yeah, that's how you make that. Um, I also have a lot of other projects like this, like um, punch a stick man, explode a stick man, hit a stick man. I'm trying to make a shooter game. Electric get a stick man, burn a stick man. I also have other stuff that doesn't involve k killing, like 
uh, dress up the apple for his date. Some Warframe tutorial that I was following. Uh, uh, my track that I made of um, Stranger Things when I was on Chrome Music Lab. I made uh, the Stranger Things theme song. And uh, it went pretty well. Um, we like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the, I forgot how whose tutorial I followed to get that theme song, but it doesn't really matter. It kind of does if I don't want to get copyright striked. Uh, my very first thing that I uploaded on Scratch was actually... Wait, is there anything? I don't... Shoot a Stigman was the very first thing I published. It, yeah. As you can see, I'm kind of unpopular on Scratch, but, you know, I'm also unpopular on YouTube. So, uh, we also have Decapitate a Stickman. That one's one of my favorites. Cut a Stickman. High five a Stickman. Throw a Stickman. Rob a Stickman. Push a Stickman. The Blink a Stickman photo. Um, catch the balloon mobile plus deck desktop. You just click the balloon. Um, I feel like you, you guys deserve to see decapitate a stick man. This is just the best project I've ever made, in my opinion. This is really good. Just Click space, you know, cut off the stick man. If you don't know what a guillotine is, yeah, decapitate, you use with the guillotine. Yeah, the, it, it was kind of hard making the guillotine, but, you know. It was worth it making the guillotine, because look at this. You see this? This is fun. People want to freaking destroy stick men. Rob a stick man? Okay, that one's just setting you up for it. But still, like, uh. Yeah, run over a stick, man. This was also one of the things that. This was like. What? Okay, I made this account in, like, during quarantine. Like, the beginning of quarantine. Um, yeah, run over a stick, man. This one's also a pretty fun addition. Like, look. We're just driving with the steering wheel. Then we just... Back... Th then I didn't know... I was too much of an... Sorry about the but anyways, yeah, I didn't pause the video, I had to just, yeah, I muted my microphone. Oh, yeah, anyways, anyways, still, back then I didn't know that I could just switch the costume, like, bro, okay, he, the broken thigh, though, that's just a little bit disturbing, but at this point, the stuff that I make, it's not family friendly, like, it's not that, like, there's, you know, just. 
<laughs> this is uh not published. Oh, dress up the apple for its date. That's kind of good, but skydive a stick man. Punch a stick man, explode a stick man. We have all the stuff here. Well, just like and subscribe.